so I'm gonna start with no weird stuff. Let's just get straight into it. New. I already got this preset. You could copy the settings. Give you a chance to do that. All right, done. Let me show you how I made. Um, I mean, it's not really trippy, but that's the only thing I had in, in mind for when I made it. I'm gonna show you how to make this. So, where I got the background from, I found a bunch of um, GFX packs online. And since PSDs take up a lot of storage, I just took every one I like from every GFX pack I found and put it into my own. So, I mean, I don't think this is copyright. I'm not sharing the pack or nothing. I'm just using what I like. We're going to use this one. stuff different than other people like I was watching tutorials just to get like a, um, a feel for what's, what does what should I say and stuff but I guess I'm different because people don't make it like me all right I use Hammer's logo because not really in a clan. Like, I don't play Critical Ops and I don't have a way to get other clans. So, it's what I did. Hold shift to um, select both of them. Hold shift when you're moving it down. I use this just to, like, um, get it for sure center when I'm centering my logo it's supposed to be 14 14 I believe like I would freehand it but as you can see it's not as accurate so it's still shifted together oh right, that's not 14 that's 12 that's what I'm tripping yeah Sorry about that. I'm like, wait, what? There we go. That's more centered. Um, I usually don't touch the text till last. I always rename everything. Because it's easier for me to see what I'm working with. Control J, duplicating layer, create clipping mask. I have these styles preset, but I'll, um, I'll go over them so y'all know exactly what to do. Let's start with Inner Glow. You can pause the video. <laughs> Sometimes I'll mess with the Inner Glow to like change this from Dissolve to Dormal, but turn down the opacity. So, no, wait, let me change it to. Yeah, linear dodge. So it pops. Let me turn down the um, opacity a little bit more. And I just, I use my scroll wheel. I can't like show you, but the scroll wheel on your mouse to go through the numbers more fluently, I guess. I don't really have a style for 2D because I always use different logos. Not color overlay, inner glow. I put it on color dodge so it makes the colors pop. I always put it on white. Depends on the Yeah, I like I like tin. I like tin. Put this on like eighty five. Now, yeah, as you can see the difference. I just press control Z to like um to like go back. And if you hold control shift Z, you just go back. Like a lot. We go back to there. Always keep this up because right, I don't know I guess it's an OCD problem what's next text um, let's just put vial like the preview oh and thanks to um, Zanu this is how I got my layer style I'm finna show y'all 
I like the more professional look, like the small text. It just I don't like I don't like the very large text it looks with to be honestly. Um I think it's this one. Yeah, it's that one. Then we get to the CC. I forgot which one I used. I used two in that one. So go all the way up. CC and pick two. What opacity? Yeah, I think it was 100. I know when I do my pop outs, this may take a while. I mean, I don't know why, but it always takes me a bit to do this. So I'll start with zooming in. Quick selection tool, put it on plus. If you press the brackets, it like changes the size as you can see it's changing. I'm not even on the right layer. I'm trying to figure out why I wasn't doing it right. Alright, so I'll go back to my layer. All the way at the bottom. It's all the way at the bottom. Oh, I changed my mouse. How fast my mouse moves. If you got a, a actually high definition background, it should auto select it. Like not the tool auto selection, the magic wand, but the quick selection should like select the background for you. It doesn't really matter if it's sloppy like on the edges. to like move it around without having to zoom in and out I can fix the fingers later I'm already knowing it's not gonna auto select and make the thing smaller then I put it on negative if I want to like clean it up a little bit back on plus Back on plus, All right? Clean it up. See what else I gotta take out. click to fit it to the actual pixels you're gonna go back to the quick selection tool and you're gonna layer via cut and turn all these back on make sure this is under the text though so it doesn't overlap the text and now we have to cut it along the um, so easy eraser 100 hardness Just cut it along the layer so it looks clean. You don't even have to cut all of it as long as it's showing the inner glow so it doesn't look like you just placed it on there, you know. Everywhere where it looks kind of weird, like right here, you, you also like gotta actually know what your logo looks like. And kind of like sometimes stop and move your thing around because if you mess up, then you, like you got to start over, you know. So. Um, yeah, we got to get it. 
inside like closer to that because it's a pretty small spot to get into sorry wrong one I clicked P instead of the bracket Hit the screen to see it all. Okay, we gotta get inside of this. And sometimes I just like press that just to see what I'm working with under it. Now, again, this doesn't have to be as clean because. Nobody's going to really zoom in to see if you did the pop out correctly. Well, some people will. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Cut out the arm. Hopefully this is recording my mouse. I just thought about that. One of these, um, I pre-recorded it, but I watched it over and realized that, like, my mouse was not being recorded, so it's kind of useless. I had to start over. What was I doing? Just cut around the most important parts of your pop out. If you're cutting and you see that it's not making a difference, you don't have to cut it out because you're past the inner glow line. If it's a screen by double clicking, I gotta cut that out too. Gotta zoom in though. Now oh, this is already. Oh, there we go. No, something smaller with the brackets. Fits a screen. Um, this part. That's just a scroll wheel on my mouse. Oh, I kind of messed this up right here, actually. I can go back and cut it up. Quick select. Layer via copy, not cut. If you cut it, it's going to look messed up. Control E to merge it down. I think you're back to cutting it out. Fit to screen this part. Noticed it. Mm -hmm. What else? I think this is pretty much it. Okay, now we're gonna add. I kind of want the. Wait, where's the 2D? In a glow to pop out more. Maybe if I add Satan. But I'm on a 2D layer, 3D. Satan to make it darker. Because the CC is going to dull it, yeah. All right, so I usually, not. let's go find the, um, the sparkles that I use. Should be under PNGs, sparkles. 
duplicate layer copy it into that and name it what you want so you don't lose it you're gonna have to zoom out because this is a bit large yep always 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 hold shift when you um when you're resizing so it doesn't mess it up and since these are just little dots I usually just stretch it out you don't really see a difference I duplicate it, control E to merge it back down, put it on the top, I'll go find the, um, where's my little light at, here's my light, And I already know that this is kind of like the top portion is like empty, so you just move it up. I put it on linear dodge and turn down the opacity. Should I pop this witch out? And forget it. Might not look right. All right, now warp to text. I put it on like the arc and then like maybe five <sighs> yeah all right now save I usually save as a PSD but since I already have one I'm gonna put it as file AVI and just replace it it should yeah it should already be here I'm just gonna replace it and show you how to get I mean not get I'm not gonna show you how to get magic bullet looks on this but open all right you got the same thing now you're gonna go to filter if you have magic bullet looks you go here I got a I got some presets but I put diffusion on um, chromatic abrasion on do I want to put haze mm, no haze I don't like how he's I like I like kind of um darker looks I always put shutter streak on and like this makes it like um, like flare up I like that I don't know I put this on I'm supposed to be on one. Oh, not not that much one point oh well. I put this on negative one point oh oh so as you can see it's kind of like Kind of like a glitch effect at the bottom, but this co this background is already colorful. So like, let's turn that down. Eight hundred, eight hundred. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. All right. Just wait for it to finalize after Magic Bullet looks, and I mean, this is already in my portfolio, but I'm gonna put my watermark on it. Because if you are from the Critical Ops community, you already know people like to steal work. I'm not going to say any names, but like, there's been a plethora of thumbnails that I have made. And like, I just go on YouTube and look up scrub highlights. I'll see a lot of my thumbnails that were used without permission, but I'm not going to trip. It's the Critical Ops community. I'm going to rasterize this and press Control i to um, invert the colors. Turn the opacity down to like 20. There we go. And you're done. Um, thank you guys for watching. If I actually helped, which I'm sure I did, make sure to leave a like and share and subscribe. Thanks.